today's Cooking with Rainya, we are continuing our month-long series of cozy breakfasts and brunches for cold winter days. Rainya, we've made some great stuff all month long. I know, and, and what, I hate to think that this week is our last week. I love breakfast. As I told you, it's one oh. of my favorite things. So what are we making today? But in a casserole. Oh. Because I've actually done chicken and waffles with a country gravy yeah. on mm -hmm. the air before. But this is something that's completely due ahead and that's taking great. a multitude of shortcuts. I'm all about that. that I'm truly. <laughs> first of all, I didn't, you don't have to make the waffles for this. It'd Shortcut nice. one. Yeah, if you want, you can. <laughs> but these are those just god awful little waffles that you buy in the supermarket. Hey, that my three year old loves them. I, I'm, so do my grandchildren. Yeah. And the thing is, you have to toast them first okay. so that they're crunchy. Okay, so just put them on a half sheet pan and stick them in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Oh, this is important. <laughs> Let's do that first, huh? Yes. I was going to say, you're not going to sit there and toast all these waffles. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. I just put them in the oven. Put them on a sheet pan. Put okay. them on a sheet pan. That's all I did. That's better than what I would have done, so. So that's what you want to do, and you can hear <clears throat> the little crunch. Okay, just put them in here. And then, while I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I'll tell you the next step that's the shortcut. <laughs> shortcut two. Buy, and I get these for my grandchildren. And believe me, folks, I'm not promoting a particular brand, but I do the Bell and Evans organic uh, frozen, uncooked chicken breast tenders that okay. are breaded. Okay. All right. Now that uncooked is the optimal word. That's just here. something that you like in particular. I happen to use those and like them, and that's because um, we are pretty much at the catering business, and definitely also at my home, we do a lot of organic um, products in our preparation. Mm -hmm. and, but you have to bake them first. Okay. Okay, that's important. Because it's uncooked. Yeah, they're right? uncooked, and they would not cook in here if you didn't. Okay. So follow the package directions, and then cut them into chunks. Okay. And then you want to just get in there, and so I'm not using raw chicken, folks, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but you really want to evenly distribute the chicken and the this waffles. This really is like a casserole. I love this Oh, idea. it's totally a casserole. Totally. All right? So now we're going to take this away just for a minute and put it right down here okay. and now what we have are eggs okay and once again you want to there's been a lot of eggs this month <laughs> lightly whisked yeah you want and and again just like i do with my scrambled eggs i'm going to go ahead here and i'm going to whisk them with milk half and half or heavy cream it's your preference at this point, I wouldn't bother with the skim milk. You know, it's usually whatever I have yeah. in my fridge. Yeah. Because I, I don't I, drink half and half of my coffee, but if my mom's there, I have it in the fridge. Oh, yeah. So I'll use, you know, right. It depends. So here, what we have. <laughs> You're mixing the maple syrup in with the egg. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yep, right in there. And then, see here, I thought I had some melted butter. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I knew I had it. You're always so prepared. Of course it was there. There we go. And you put the butter in, too. And then you pour this mixture all over. Now, if you're making this from the night before, I suggest that you don't put the egg mixture on top until you're ready to bake this. Okay, because some casseroles will call for you to let yeah. everything kind of soak together yeah. overnight. Yeah, and that's not, I would That's do not this casserole. No, okay. and then this will take about 40 minutes or so at 350 degrees because you want the eggs to cook. Okay. All right. So would you like to see what it looks like when I it comes do. out of the oven? I really do. You want it to bake uncovered. Okay. And sorry, folks. Pothole, pot holders. Pot, pot holder went MIA for a minute. Just for a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. So you, you definitely want this to then be just a little bit of maple syrup. Okay. And I use, <laughs> and I do the real McCoy on the maple syrup. I, I'm very much a, a purist right. when it comes to maple syrup. Nothing imita in, in, imita imitating. That word. Yes. In my <laughs> I get you. You know what? I, if, you've, if you've never had real maple syrup, it is worth 
spending yes. the extra couple At bucks. Most definitely, it yes. It is so yes, good yes. and so different from that really thick syrup that you I'm used not going to. to serve you just yet because oh, I have a surprise coming. Up. Oh, you do? Yeah, a salad to go with it. Oh, Whoever nice. would have thought a salad to go with chicken and waffles. Okay, good. Well, that looks delicious. I guess we'll try it and make our salad when we come back. So please stay with us. We're going to take a quick break and be right back with more Cooking with Grainia after this.